Master status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They're fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. You can't dance. I miss afterlife. Yeah, this place is so pretty sweet. Anyhow, I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy? You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's life. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. The eye candy on the stage is fine by me. <laughs> Good. I sure don't need you as competition. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything.
Look at this. All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me... Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a virus. Shepard, you saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then, one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. I've heard 
so many sad stories. These people have lost so much. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? About time. Listen, please, we just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. I have a little. Son of a bitch. Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just... I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Okay, but I might be able to help you with uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reavers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on, I have an old contact. Ah, oh, come on, Hossel, help me out. Sorry, the war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writings help? Uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay, it's auto-translating. Let's see. Oh no. The technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? How did you even? Well, this is great. Okay, here you go. Hope this helps you build that dark energy device. Anyway, good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here, not touching anything. Sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately.
Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard, did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. Have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Spectre status recognized. Please one select. moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> with someone on Eratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony while they regret... <laughs> don't have the strength to... I destroyed Eratot's Relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. <laughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. Plug this machine. Let me join my family.
I'm done here. Good. He'll cough himself to death without a sedative. No, wait. Just take it easy. There. Scary gangs have unexpectedly announced that they have united to help fight the Reapers. About time. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. Well... They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people... Ah! Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Nice. trying to go over everything in my head make sense of it your bandages were still fresh how did you end up working with Adina you saw me in the hospital I was going crazy felt like I was letting everyone down when Udina offered to make me a specter I thought it was a chance to do some good I couldn't just sit back and watch either yeah but it sure turned into a mess I never wanted to put you in that situation we're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir.
Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard. Do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. 
Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? Well, I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. Go easy on Ash. She's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachanka was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do, good deeds we accomplish, love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Shepard. Hell of a day. 
Budina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends, and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Good to see you. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. It would help all involved if you could bark. For a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the dock. on the council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Thanks for coming by. Commander. Breaking now, the Citadel in flames. A break. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup. But I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal fiber ride... Kenneth is still installing the thermal right now. Oh, we'll have to get volunteers to crawl through the ducts. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and 
offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others will be tolerated. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Hey, Commander. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, oh, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong.
Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Loco. Anytime.
Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Commander Shepard. Commander. 